This lesson deals with supplemental problem 1.4. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 1 supplemental problems on page 5. Suppose we're given the following circuit where we know the voltage across and the current through all but one element. Let's use the conservation of power theorem to solve for the power absorbed by element F. You may recall from the class notes the sum of absorbed power in a circuit at every instant in time is equal to zero. So let's solve for the power absorbed by elements A through E, and then we'll use that to solve for the power absorbed for element F. Power absorbed is current entering the plus terminal, leaving the minus terminal. So the power absorbed by this element is 13.8 volts times minus 51 milliamps, and that would be a minus 703.8 milliwatts. For element B, we have the current entering the plus terminal, leaving the minus, and so the product of these two would be minus 15 volts times 45 milliamps would be a minus 675 milliwatts. Now for element C, I have the current entering the minus terminal and leaving the plus terminal. So we need to turn the direction of that around. And when we do that, we change the sign of the current. So this would be a minus 6 milliamps. And so the power absorbed by this element is minus 6 milliamps times minus 1.8 volts. That's a positive 10.8 milliwatts. For element D, the same thing. I need to have the current entering the plus terminal, so we'll turn the sign of that around and that'll become a plus 20 milliamps. 20 milliamps times 12 volts is 240 milliwatts. And then lastly, the current is entering the plus terminal, leaving the minus for element E, and so the product of those two would be the power absorbed, and that would be 16.8 volts times 14 milliamps, and that's 235.2 milliwatts. You can find the calculations here below. Well, let's add up all the positive terms. That was 10.8 milliwatts, 240 milliwatts, and 235.2 milliwatts. Let's add up all the negative terms. That was 703.8 milliwatts and 675 milliwatts. And then lastly, add to that the power absorbed by element F. This turns out to be 486 milliwatts. This turns out to be a minus 1378.8 milliwatts. So when I add those two together, I get a negative 892.8 milliwatts. Okay, now this has to equal zero when we add this in. So now we could solve for the power absorbed by element F. And that's a positive 892.8 milliwatts. This is supplemental problem 1.4.